Uh, Dragon, welcome to the ace space. Although I say welcome, it looks like you're a lot closer to volleyball than me at the moment because I'm in my bedroom in London and I can see CV Volleyball Challenge Cup behind you. So firstly, how are you? And secondly, where in the world are you? Well, uh, I'm good. Thanks for asking. I'm in uh, Luxembourg. Uh, we already finished the uh, drawing of lots for the for the competition, European competition of uh, next year. So uh, I'm good. I'm uh, resting from the another season, and uh, soon we'll be start for the for the next. So uh, enjoying free time. Well. <sighs> I can imagine. Uh, elite level European volleyball has been such a massive part of your life and your career has been such a massive part of fans' lives for the last, well, over a decade. When you go to things like drawing of lots and you start to think about the next season, do you still get excited? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the first time for me uh, to come uh, to come uh, here to, to for the drawing of lots. So um, new experience. And uh, seeing the the groups, even if, if it's not complete at the at the moment, uh, it's a, every time it's a special feeling. So yeah, yeah, especially well because obviously you've you've done it all, but there are some teams who are going to be playing European volleyball for the first time, and that's so exciting for them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, also, after playing the Champions League for a long time in a row. Uh, this year we will play. Uh, I will play uh, CV Cup, so uh, another cup, uh, new another. It's pretty much the same competition, but uh, it's not. So uh, eager to start and uh, to go step by step. Hey, another trophy to win, another medal yeah, for the collection. Another one, exactly, exactly. Do you remember your first Champions League match? Because there have been hundreds and plenty of medals and plenty of awards. Do you remember the first chance you got to play in that competition? Well, yeah. Um, I was in Montenegro, in uh, Budva. And uh, we were in a, in a tough group with uh, Lube Civitanova, with uh, Innsbruck, and uh, another one was uh, Rostelar or uh, Noliko. I think Noliko. Yeah. So um, yeah, first uh, first experience, first time, and uh, I was I was excited. I already played for the national team, but uh, playing uh, with the team uh, on the big stage, it's uh, every time it's uh, it's another in, an, an, another feeling. So uh, it was exciting. We fortunately lose that game, but uh, it was like uh, serve for the experience and uh, prepare for the for the next matches. Is that where you came to the attention of Chivitanova then? Is that where they started yeah, their interest? Yeah, exactly. In you? Exactly. Yeah, they have uh, problems on their own with the middle blockers. And uh, after the group stage, uh, they uh, made a proposal to come uh, and play the rest of the season in Italy. So uh, this was my, my uh, moment. Uh, I took it and. Uh, yeah. Uh, the rest is a history. <laughs> you say it worked out quite well for everyone, yeah, didn't it? Perfect, Goodness me. Perfect. Yeah. Unbelievable. And right, so what are your right place, right summers? Time. Oh, sorry, Dragon, what were you saying? Yeah, I said the uh, right place or right time. Uh, well, some people call it luck, but if you get luck, you need to be in a position to take it, don't sure you? It, yeah. It's not lucky yeah. if you don't take advantage. Mm. Okay. Uh, what do your summers look like now? Because I know you're a couple of years... Well, firstly, you're a couple of years out of international volleyball. Do you miss it? Well, uh, I played last game on European of 2017. Mm. So uh, after that, uh, for a year, I didn't miss it at all. Okay. So uh, I really, um, I thought a lot about, uh, about the decision to, to stop with the national team. And after that year, I realized that I made a good decision because uh, most of the people, most of the players are saying that after a couple of months of not, not doing anything, they, they miss it a lot. Uh, I join my family, uh, free time with them that uh, in 13 uh, years before uh, didn't uh, have a chance. So uh, for me, it was a perfect occasion to spend more time with them and to, to travel because before uh, I was uh, uh, Three four days uh, free after the after the championship, then uh, go to the national team. After national team, few days go to the club and uh, back and forth. 
So 13 years is a long time and a long period. So after that, uh, now, uh, as I said, enjoy my family, trying to to uh, visit uh, a lot of places. Now, uh, fortunately, with the COVID, uh, everything is like, yeah, like everybody. So I will just be patient and uh, wait for the for the chance. Well, you've managed to travel to Luxembourg. So that's one yeah. place at least. Yeah. Because exactly. your friend uh, Nikola Grivich, he said you'd change your mind, didn't he? Um, but there's no sign of that. You are sticking with your decision. We're not going to yeah. see you all of a sudden suiting up again for Euro volley at the end of the summer. No, no, we we talked we talked a lot okay. uh, um, during the that last year. I knew that uh, I will end my national team uh, career. And uh, I just didn't want to tell anybody. I just wanted to prepare uh, at maximum for the for the last uh, competition. Uh, I'm happy that we finished with the with the medal, with the bronze medal. And uh, after that, uh, I sit with him. I spoke. We spoke. We tell a lot of things. Uh, as a former player, he understood uh, perfectly uh, my my position, and uh, I, uh, he was. Uh, a little bit sad, but uh, he understood, and uh, that's it. it. It's amazing hearing you uh, talk about winning that medal because it was it was Belgium who you beat to win yes. the medal, wasn't yes. it? Yes. And in this podcast, we spoke to Sam Duro, who's such a great guy. I don't know if you've come across Sam, but he's he's a brilliant guest, brilliant brilliant bloke. But I spoke to him about that, and obviously it was heartbreaking yeah. for Belgium yeah. because they yeah. weren't on the podium. But then to speak to you and hear about what an amazing experience it was to come away with a with a medal, and for you to to close that that chapter on your career with uh, success for the national team of the many honors and privileges you've had as a professional athlete, that must be quite close to the top. I'd have thought. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, especially after a semi-final loss against uh, Germany. We had a good uh, opportunity to go uh, fight for the gold medal. Uh, we didn't took our chance and uh, we needed to fight for the for the bronze. We knew that uh, Belgium uh, will be, you know, on top of their game because uh, for them winning the bronze medal is uh, another achievement. Uh, for us, uh, I cannot say that it is not a good result, but uh, we could do more. So, you know, when you lose uh, one game that you are close day before, next day you are a little bit without energy, you know, like like uh, like uh, normal. Mm. And uh, we had a difficult game. Uh, they play really good. They were close, uh, but uh, we prevail and uh, we managed to to uh, to win this 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 medal. And uh, it was my last and uh, first was 2005, also the bronze medal. So uh, I started with bronze medal, I finished with bronze medal. So, so it, was, uh, it was good for me. Lovely bookends on the chapter of your uh, international career. Talk to me about traveling then, because I just assumed that volleyball has taken you all around the world and you've seen some amazing places, but outside of the, the sport, which countries do you want to visit that you haven't had the opportunity to yet? Yeah, I, um, uh, I wanted to visit uh, uh, Australia mm -hmm. because uh, uh, Australia started to, to play in the you know, World League when I stopped. Uh, they played one or two years before, but we didn't uh, uh, meet them in the, in the group. So this is the, the country that I have desire to to visit uh, and the other one is uh, egypt so uh, yeah i never been to africa soil till not till uh, i hope soon mm -hmm. so uh, egypt australia is uh, I, the two countries and uh, now i spoke uh, i was speaking yesterday here that uh, i never had the opportunity to come to luxembourg so uh, it also was a uh, you know uh, we don't play games here uh, so I was just asking myself, maybe one day I need to sit in my car and uh, drive. So <laughs> yeah. today, today was a perfect occasion. Oh, amazing. Well, I hope they've made you feel welcome. I've never been to Australia either. And I spent a little bit of time in Egypt. And I know it's a, it's a rich and diverse country and it's a big country, but you have to, you have to go and see 
the pyramids and yeah, the Sphinx that's why, and the yeah, tombs. Yeah. It is, everybody's seen the photographs and we've seen them in movies, but to, to witness them with your own eyes and to see, and, and you can touch the hieroglyphics, it's, it's kind of beyond a lot of human comprehension. I really struggle to get my head around it. So I really hope you get to enjoy that with your family. That'll be a, a wonderful experience for you. Get it in the diary. As well, now after after your testimony, I, I, I should go uh, soon, really soon, really soon. As soon as the airports are open again, um, yeah. get it done. Well, obviously you're not a part of the team. However, your friends, your former teammates, your, your colleagues are going to be playing in Euro volley later in the summer. Um, how do you think they'll get on? Well, we see, we saw the last European Championship. So um, we can expect everything, uh, especially especially from them, because uh, they showed that uh, uh, two years ago, they, uh, they were in a tough situation. They lost the qualification tournament uh, for the Olympics. And uh, after uh, two weeks, they start uh, preparation. After one week, they start preparation for the for the European. Come there, and and, and uh, at the end, they won a gold medal. So uh, uh, they are they have a capability to, to 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 do it. They just need to be focused and go step by step to not uh, think too much. Just play, enjoying, and uh, they can uh, they can achieve everything. Now you talk about that. European Olympic qualification tournament though it's so difficult to qualify to Europe isn't it the standard is just out of this world yeah everybody said that uh, it's uh, maybe it's easier to to win the medal on the on the <laughs> Olympics than uh, qualify for it so especially if you are from Europe uh, so many good teams and uh, like a few a few spaces to to to, to go there and uh, fortunately for uh, for Serbia, uh, this was another one, uh, another tournament like that because uh, second in a row. And uh, everybody are sad, and everybody are, uh, are um, will now will sit at home and uh, watch the, the tournament. But uh, I know that they will come stronger and uh, try to compete for the next Olympics. You are an Olympian, though, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty course, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Even if I didn't win a medal, just being there and uh, experienced uh, everything was uh, was uh, was a special feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, obviously with the with the Olympic summer coming up as well. Unfortunately for for you, your friends and the supporters, there won't be a Serbian team there. Who do you think might end up on the podium? Have you got any inklings? Uh, no, it's really, it's really <laughs> difficult. Really, it's really difficult. It's really difficult. Uh, you have such a good teams, and um, I think that uh, it will decide the, 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 you know, the the, the rush, the mm. the good start, the because you don't have a chance. To, the one, the team who enjoys the most, and uh, who plays a little bit without pressure. They cannot play without pressure for sure because it's one tournament in four years. But but um, if they manage to find the balance, uh, uh, it will be good. Certainly will. Uh, on that note, I think they've got a very busy afternoon for you in Luxembourg. So I'm going to leave you go. Good luck with your travels. Good luck with next season. Thank you so much for having a chat. This has been absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next time. <sighs>